And I got any Guam. Let's uh, hop on over to the CNMI where we join in progress the weekly press conference of uh, CNMI Governor Ralph Torres. Uh, when I wanted to run for Congress, and mm. one thing that she said was, "I'll support you 100 percent, right? But don't ever tell me to quit teaching." So she was teaching oh, at wow. Southern High School, and so of course I never did. I supported her as she supported my political career. And then when I became governor late um, 2015, because of Governor Enos passed away, I told her that she has a first, she is the first lady then, um, but I would never tell her to resign. But um, she ended up uh, turning in her letter. Mm -hmm. And trust me, she was very reluctant to Mm -hmm. turn in her letter that summer. And so she's been with me this journey in the last four years. Mm -hmm. And so for four or five years now, and so last summer, uh, even then, she's you know she I can feel it in her mm. that she really missed teaching. So last summer, she told me that she really wants to go back and, and go back to teaching because that's her calling. And so she's been supporting me this whole time. And so the only right thing to do is for me to support her passion. Right. So I'm very happy to, to see her go back to to do something that not that she's not passionate about that thing she's done as first lady, but. Her passion in teaching was was before being a first mm. lady. So you can't take that away from her. Mm. Yeah. So. so she's gone through helping our community from the typhoons down to the present COVID and still walks back into the education she really loves. Yeah. Shouts yeah. out to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I took away supposed to be like when we open up the media, we go, Gov, what's your message? But you know, something yeah. caught our attention and we wanted to do our shots off first. So now we're going to turn the microphone over to Gov for his update. And then we'll go with the media group, starting with Sally and then with Tom and who else is our guest? Um, KUAM. Oh, KUAM. Thank you guys. Uh, be patient. We're going to open now with Gov with his message. All right, uh, half a day, Tiro, uh, the Sumamai, uh, May 13th, yes, May 13th. Friday the 13th. Uh, you know, last week, again, I just wanted to, to echo, I know that I've, I said that uh, we were doing the Government Appreciation Week, um, but over the week, uh, early this week, I was in Rota, and to congratulate all the award uh, awardees, but also just to to thank all the government employees in Rota. Mm. Again, I, I emphasize that every one of us, and I and I and I say that wholeheartedly because every one of us have different challenges, whether at work or at home, or just our personal life. And in Rota too, have their different challenges when they have their own uh, the pandemic. Uh, different challenges um, and so just thanking all the, the government employees thank the mayor for all the, the leadership that he had uh, continue to to guide the people of Rhoda um, all the the resident directors um, and just the employees and also thanking their families to allow the government employees uh, to do the things that they do mm-hmm. to provide uh, public service yes so uh, I believe uh, we've done in Saipan uh, so this week we're down in in Rota and then um, next week will be Tinian wow. I also wanted to give a shout out to all graduates shout uh, out. oh I know that we normally do that at the end <laughs> but before I forget I wanted to <laughs> since uh, students first yes <laughs> um, I shout out to all all graduates uh, this year, uh, whether it's a promotion, mm. whether it's kindergarten, okay. fifth grade, or eighth grade, uh, and going into high school uh, or going to college, um, graduating high school, really a congratulation because every one of, of you have gone again different challenges, and uh, the world is changing, um, but their resilience uh, is something to be commendable. Um, and, uh, and we're here to support their endeavors. And those that are going off for college, please uh, have a, enjoy the journey going to, mm. going to college, whether you do it here at NMC, which is an excellent start. Um, I am here to promote NMC. They've, they're excellent. I wish I went to NMC. Shouts out um, NMC. Shout out to NMC. Um, but those that are going to, to Off Island, enjoy the journey. Um, always be safe. And uh, when you're done, come back home. Yeah. Um, Oh, I also want to give a shout out to, shout out. Um, to seven mil, uh, million dollars scholars who graduated from Boise State. Mm. 
Whoa. Um, they're the first batch that, uh, so seven of them graduating this, I believe, uh, already uh, graduated from Boise State, mm. uh, and they all made the honors. Uh, from so, here? Uh, from here? here? From nice. here. Nice. Yes. All oh, seven of them? Remember uh, Mr. G. Dollar? Van Gill? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. So that, the Miller Dollar Scholars, uh, seven of them graduated from Boise mm -hmm. State this year. So give a shout out uh, to, to them. And it just shows that when you give full support, mm -hmm. Um, so now the, the other challenge is, is giving opportunities for them to come back home. Um, and that's Beautiful. something that we're, we look forward to. And again, that's just one of the, the, the progress and success that our kids have. Um, and, and I said this, that, you know, when you're, when you're off island, you, you, you miss your families, mm -hmm. you miss mom's cooking, yeah. grandma's cooking, um, but they, they weathered that and they're done. And so we, we can't wait to wait that, to see them come back home. Right. So give a shout out to them and, and to all the graduates um, yeah. in all other universities or college. Um, please uh, enjoy, uh, congratulations, and, and please come back home when you're ready to serve your people here in the city of Um Other than that, like again, uh, we have several other success, uh, but uh, tomorrow is a big day. I know that we did a, 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 uh, some promotion but I wanted to to talk again uh, about tomorrow. Tomorrow is a special day for me, mm -hmm. uh, and to join uh, me and as well as um, May's is Tourism Month, okay. and we're here to promote tourism and the beauty of our island. And one of the best ways is not just enjoying uh, the scenery, but also the, uh, making our health a priority. So tomorrow we're doing a fit to lead walk, a 5K fun run, or walk or jog. Oh, right. Um, or roll, however you want to do it. Uh, and some some uh, said, what if we want to bike? I said, you know what, why not? Yeah. Okay. You know, I it's don't, it's, part, of it's part of the health. And so uh, so that's tomorrow. Uh, check it is at six. And then um, then the competitor uh, race will be at 6.30. And then those that want to take their time starts at seven. Um, so again, that's a shout out to to Ron Saipan, uh, I mean, all the, the sponsors, mm -hmm. Nancy Lin, we got some shirts, uh, uh, they'll be given uh, first come first serve. Um, Kensington, I mean, just a lot of volunteer and contribution for this uh, great cause. Um, the other one that I also wanted to, to ask our community is to please support and help Chuk uh, with the relief drive that's happening next week, Saturday. I know that they did uh, one earlier but let's all come out and support our, our Chukis community. Um, not only that they are, are part of our community, but they've been a great contribution to our, uh, to our community and they have good leaders. Um, and this is a great way for us to show that we are here as brothers, as one Micronesian. There's two um, Micronesians. Oh yeah. I mean, when we needed help, uh, our brothers and sisters from FSM, uh, again, I remember during YouTube, they contributed $200,000. Okay. And we, that's a lot of money coming from FSM. FSM, especially FSM. Yeah. And, and for them to contribute 200000 really is, is a lot. Mm. And if little goes a long way, imagine the amount that they were able to contribute. So um, let's all stick together and, and let's help out our brothers and sisters. And so if you have any question, uh, we have President Own. Cholome uh, or Freddy uh, Suda that can be mm. communicated uh, or email them. So please, uh, our community, let's uh, stand together and, and let's help out um, our uh, brothers and sisters from Chuk. Yesterday we did sign the historic preservation yes. and I know earlier you were mentioning that. But you know, uh, Gordon and uh, Mama Lou, the, uh, our history here is very, is very important. It's part of us. Yeah. Uh, our Japanese tourism comes here because of our history, okay. uh, we look at what do we promote? Uh, we can't promote the future. Mm -hmm. right. What we do is to protect the history that we have. And by prom promoting and protecting our, our history, that's when we can say we have a better future because we know where we came from and now where we're, we're going. Yes. And, and like, you know, the secretary was mentioning about artifacts, about educating and you know it really hit me that that is right a lot of a lot of artifacts out there should be left where it's at mm -hmm. i know that we all want to have a memorabilia artifacts at home but at the end of the day you're 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 taking the significance 
of where it's at. Um, and, and so with that said, uh, I congratulate uh, HPO for doing doing the things that they do um, here in, in Oliai, right here next door. Yeah, you we just was right there. You said the prayer. Yes. Yeah. Um, and again, what an excellent example. Mm -hmm. I've been working with the, our Diocese of, of China Kanoa to do um, the, the erosion here uh, and the water uh, issue. Um, now that we got that project going, we're doing the, the, the sewer, but then this hit. I mean, as much as, as this is an important project, this is more important to make sure that we take care of those remains. Mm -hmm. So um, they're doing a good job on that. Shouts um, out. Shouts out. And next week is also uh, Police Week. We have Peace Memorial, Officers Memorial Day, and then Police Week, and then National Voting uh, Safety Week next week. Um, and then, of course, the end of the month will be Memorial Weekend. But that we can do that next uh, other um, Fridays. Mm. But with that said, I just want to say again, happy Friday and uh, open up for questions. Um, before we get to the questions, yes, Grace is going to talk a little bit about the, the relief. Grace, go ahead. Good everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Thank you for having me here and uh, a, a big shout out from Lady D, Diane um, Torres to uh, Gordon and Lucy. Uh, she sends her love to you and thank you for the shout out. And along with everyone from the Atric Relief, thank you God for briefly sharing a bit about the Atric Relief that will be happening uh, next week, Saturday. That will be May 21st five um, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So the Atric Relief, of course, like God mentioned, we are one brothers, sisters of here, Micronesia, because of their gen generosity in helping us, um, they've seeked assistance with the governor's oh. office, of course, through our president, Own Olongwe, uh, from the Africa Association. We are now going to coordinate and work with them. And this has been in the planning stages for about two months, as you all um, may not have the information, but there was a king tide that occurred on the um, out, outlying islands of Chuuk, the Morlek Islands. And this was back in 2021 of December. So they are still in need of assistance with uh, dry goods as majority of the islands in the Mortlock, the outer islands have been devastated, affected by the high rise in sea level. And so we are here to join forces with them and assist them along with our sponsors, of course, shout out to DFAMS, DPS, Magahaga uh, Eagles, men and women, along with the WOD and uh, Homeland Security, they're all coming together assisting the sponsorship of this major event to show our um, One Pacific love to the islands of Chuuk. Uh, if you are able to come out on the 21st, please uh, reach out to Ms. Alfreda Suda, who will be uh, coordinating that along with our actual president. So thank you, God, for taking on this uh, initiative as as always, you always uh, come out and support every individual, not just individuals, but groups of ethnicities on islands. So I just want to invite the public to come out and show support. We'll be over at the Minatum Adda. It's going to be a drive up where you just drop off your goods, bottled waters. They're asking for butane gas, bottled waters, dry goods, foods, whatever uh, your heart compels you to donate. So I just want to give that. Um, information out. Thank you, Gary, um, Gordon, and Lucy for having us. Awesome. Let Shots me, out, Grace. You know, uh, Grace, um, I wanted to to also just just add on that. You know, uh, we and, and everyone that's listening, when Typhoon Sodilor hit, that was the largest and strongest mm. um, typhoon that we ever had. And uh, again, at that time, it was one of the record breaking. And I realized that a lot of our communities, our neighboring uh, islands, our brothers and sisters from FSM, uh, from Palau, I mean, everywhere, mm. you know, they, they call and they, they give their, their support. And even from the, the U.S., our people from Vegas, from Boise, from Portland, from Hawaii, uh, Seattle, you know, they, they, they package things. And they send it here, right? And you realize that the, the support and the love is all over. And then we got hit again on Mancud, and then with you two, even worse. And again, these guys never stop helping our community. And that's why, for me, seeing all, so much love coming, um, and little here, little there, mm. you know, you you bring in and you give, 
and it's a, it makes the, com the community a whole, a complete community. And when we see our brothers and sisters from other islands, you know, going through the same thing we went through, mm -hmm. it's it's like it's time for us not just to help, but not just to return that the love, but to give more than what what we're able to by us because we have different resources. Mm -hmm. But imagine, like again, I, I said earlier, imagine them giving two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars when they're limited their resources is less than, than we do, yeah. but they're able to to sacrifice that. Um, and so, you know, seeing everybody that that we that they need help, uh, it's always nice to go and do good things uh, because I know the effect, how it came, uh, the effect that it helped our community when it was our turn to ask for help. You know what, Gough, it's just pretty much, we were brought up that way. Yeah. It's in our culture. And um, what we do um, here is, you know, sometimes we just go out of our way just to do it because um, it's about our people, yeah. you know. So if you're ready, go. I'm gonna go ahead now and invite our uh, sure. media group. Ready, Mamalu? Yes. Tazamas, go. You know, uh, let me just say this. I remember it in U2, I think it was Gary and Nogu. But, um, there's a story that, that I remembered where they was doing a fun uh, a drive and a 12 year old and a mom mm. passed by and gave $12. Mm. Yes. Um, and I remember that day because it really touched me that she took out all her savings mm. and contributed $12. Now, for a billionaire, $12 is nothing, right? And to us, maybe $12 is nothing. But a $12 is everything, everything. to that 12 year old uh, girl. Um, so she took out all her savings to help somebody that, that she didn't, doesn't even know. And so, you know, the way that those, the moral of the story that. is what you can give, mm. that's what matters. It's mm -hmm. not how much you gave and mm. what you, what you gave mm. is the love that you're able to give because for somebody that $12 is everything. Mm. Um, and that's for me, I, and since you guys came out with that, uh, hearing that story never, never left. And every time I see something that we can help, uh, we help. Mm. If a 12 year old can take out yeah. the asterisk and take out her last money yeah. for the love of others, just, you know, that's a message from our kids, man. We just got to always respect one another, love one another, and... A little positive. No. <laughs> okay, media group, you guys right. ready? <laughs> All right. We're going to start with Sally. Sally, if you have uh, your questions, and then um, we'll move over to Thomas, then see Jason, no? Uh, good morning, Sally. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me again. I know it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sally. Hi, good morning, Gov. So, yeah, I just wanted to ask, um, the budget hearings have started yesterday up at the legislature, and I know that you have until July to submit your rev revised proposal. Could you just tell me some of the things that you're looking out for during this uh, budget process? Well, um, as we know, uh, April 1st is, is due. Um, and what we did is we look at the first six months on uh, the revenue that uh, we have received and looking at what other opportunities that we are looking uh, in the next six months that will help make the adjustments uh, for a revised budget. So uh, I know that uh, the, the budget that we turned in, I know that some departments uh, or even branches of government are concerned that um, it's not something that uh, they would want to have more in their, their budget. But again, it, it is a process that we look at and we monitor uh, the revenue and, and we'll have a better um, view as to our economy uh, coming in by June. So yeah, that is a, a process that, that is that is normal. Um, there are going to be, they've started yesterday with the house and I'm sure that they'll do that to the whole um, department and perhaps even other branch. All right, thank you. That leads me to my next question, Gov. Is there an update on the second local stimulus? 
Um, I have uh, spoken to Dave and uh, we are working on, on the math on that and we are working on the, um, the possibility. Um, and so yes, there is a, a very strong possibility. Um, I will refrain from telling, uh, from giving a, a proposed date because I do know that the minute you say a date, um, everyone expects that. And if there's challenges that doesn't meet that deadline, then uh, again, rumors will be all over the place. So uh, is it on the works? It is on the works. Um, we are pushing as hard as we can. Again, there's some issues that we want to close and educate our community before the next stimulus uh, is presented to our community. Um, do we have a figure on that stimulus? <laughs> uh, you will soon, soon, as soon as we get our math in. Um, so what we're doing, just to let everybody know, that we are closing the books on the first stimulus, meaning some of us uh, spend everything, some of us uh, has a dollar left in the account, some have two dollars, some three dollars, some have more. And so we want, we need to close that account, close that box, take that leftover that is unspent and then add it to the available account. Uh, I know that some, I've had some calls that um, they just recently received it um, and it's already had different challenges. Some uh, are asking if they can extend it because they didn't know that there's an expiration date. Again, the stimulus card is meant for you to spend the money, not to save it. Um, it is yours, uh, it is yours to spend. Um, it doesn't gain interest. Uh, and so there is deadline uh, to use uh, these cards. All right, Gov. And um, yes, my last question is just in a few hours, uh, the Senate will be conducting a trial for the impeachment. Uh, will you be making a, an appearance inside the chamber? Uh, I will be having that discussion at nine o'clock with my counsel. Okay, thank you, Gov. That's all the questions Thank I you, have. you have a good weekend. Thank, thank you. you, Sally. Moving you. on to Mr. Thomas Manglonia. Morning, Tom. Hi, good morning. Tom. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Gord. Uh, Governor, following up on Sally's question, what's holding you back from making the commitment to appear in person before the Senate today? It is the first ever Senate impeachment trial in the Commonwealth's history. I'll just wait for my counsel's advice whether I should be there or not, or if I am um, uh, demanded to, to appear or not. In his latest memo, Senator uh, Jude Hofschneider said it was up to you. So uh, what is your decision? Would you like to appear or would you not like to appear? Tom, I just said, away from my counsel's advice whether I should be there or not. And Gov, I'm not sure if you know if uh, supporters of yours will be outside of the legislature once again today. Do you have a message to the community as this historic day unfolds with regards to your impeachment? Well, you know, uh, Thomas, thank you for asking that question. Um, again, uh, I respect that process. The House did their own process uh, and now the Senate uh, has their own process. But um, again, uh, I specifically for me, um, I'll just uh, I'll just wait till you know, I respect that process, and I'll just wait till the Senate um, handles uh, this uh, this uh, this process, I guess, and then I'll make my own uh, a personal comment after that. All right, Doug. Thank you. But one thing, too, Tom, I just I wanted to to thank all the supporters that showed love uh, from day one, um, even the hundreds uh, of supporters from the House impeachment that were there from day one and even up to um, the Senate and the thousands of supporters that have shown love, um, blessings, prayers. And so I, I wanna personally thank all of them for the continued support and belief in this administration. Thank you, Tommy. If there's no further question, uh, Jason. Uh, yes, Gord, uh, sorry, those are just uh, the tech on KOM side. That's all the questions we have from our company. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. I guess uh, we got to roll out. That's it. Roll out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was quick. Yeah. you know, uh, again, uh, to our media partners, uh, I truly appreciate um, your partnership and I appreciate the questions 
I know that that some of those questions may not, you know, personally you want to ask, but uh, those questions that must be asked. Uh, but again, there is a process uh, and we do have, for me, for example, I do have my legal counsel to advise me whether what I should say uh, again. And because we do have a trial here. Um, and then of course, another case uh, pending the superior court. But uh, just since we're in that topic, I wanted to, to thank all of you, KKMP, our media partners that have been asking the questions and concerns, and to all the communities. I hope that, um, that through this process, uh, you realize that it's that there is two sides two sides of every story and and today and starting today you hear my side of the story and uh, we look forward to to clearing this and uh, we just move forward thank you Gov. thank you for your time thank you to our media partners um again folks as we always share on the radio um if you can't find the answers or if you have a question then all right, there you go. That's uh, coverage of a uh, Governor Ralph Torres of the CNMI's weekly press conference. Maria Pangolini of the Guam Election Commission is coming up next.